<laughs> I almost choked to death. I almost choked to death saying hi to you guys. Anyways, what is going on guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but as the all requested video goes, I'm gonna do a typical day in the life of a medical student. I think today is kind of like the average day. Yeah, I'm gonna have you guys follow me today. All right, let's do this. I like to eat breakfast before I go so because otherwise I'll just be starving during class and I hate being hungry during class You're staying, dude. so typically I usually will ride my bike but as soon as I got outside it was extremely extremely hot so I'm having my wonderful wife Hi. take me to school because I, I live right across the street but it's still ridiculously hot it's about 106 or it's gonna be 106 today and right now it's already like 90 degrees so to save me from sweating on the way there and on the way back she's gonna drive me so sometimes I don't eat breakfast at home what I'll do is I'll put it in one of these little thermoses this is like a cool one I don't know what brand it is but and I'll take it with me and usually for breakfast I'll just have oatmeal because I'm trying to be healthy and stuff so oatmeal with some fruit is what I got for breakfast and I'll kind of eat that during the first part of class today and today we have class at 10 a.m., which is kind of cool. Um, sometimes classes start at eight, sometimes classes start at nine or 10. So it just really depends on what the day is like and what classes have going on. There's not like a set schedule for everyone, like every day at 8 a.m. or every day at 9 a.m. It kind of changes, but it kind of fluctuates between eight, nine, and 10. Today on the schedule we have, we have from 10 to 12, we have some pharmacology and also some neurology. And then we have lunch break at 12 to one. And then at one we have a neuroanatomy lab. And so we'll go to the lab for a couple hours, dissect, and also kind of look at the structures and things. So that's my schedule for the day. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys along to see some of the cool stuff. The other question too is what do I wear to class? Today, because we have anatomy lab after class, I just wear scrubs because I think it's easier. Not everyone wears scrubs to class. Some people will wear normal clothes and then just change right before going into neuroanatomy lab, or lab. But to save me time and effort, I just wear it before. between each class. So uh, apparently go to the bathroom and eat stuff, but... So every class starts at like, on the hour, right? And it, the class is only supposed to go for 50 minutes. And then we have a 10 minute break until the next hour, and then we start the next class. So for instance, we start our class at nine, and it's supposed to go to 9.50. But what always ends up happening is that we always run over. So we actually ended around 9.57, 9.58. So right now it's about 10.04. And so class will probably start in about another five minutes. And so typically what happens, I don't know about everywhere, but at least here. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting class, so I gotta pay attention again. normally and so I think most people have like an iPad or a Surface Pro 
or their laptop. I think those are the top three things that most people bring. Um, there's a couple other things that most people bring too. Headphones. I think everybody needs headphones because we ended up either not going to class or going to the library, putting headphones in. What's up? You want to come say hi? Hi, fans. Hi, <laughs> fans. She doesn't know I have zero fans. <laughs> Phones. Everyone, I bring a charger too. There's a bunch of plugs in the classrooms usually, but I bring a, a charger too, like a portable charger, just in case. I mean, you never know. And then uh, my lucky backpack. So I think that's the. I think that's what most people bring. Obviously, you can bring like chapstick and all that stuff, but those are the boring things. So uh, my glasses. I can't see without these things. Now it's lunchtime. So every day at 12, we have off from 12 to 1. And this is everyone, everyone kind of goes someplace yeah. different, but we also have a student commons. Yes, yes. And the student commons, they have like ping pong and stuff. You know what? I'll show you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's do this. So this is where most students go. They go into like the lounge and just hang out because we have a bunch of stuff to do there and play. Wait, so we all come in here to like eat and like hang out and talk. It's like it's basically a time to socialize. Like just like lunchtime is if you're in like high school or anything like that. So we all come in here, hang out, just talk. We play ping pong. We eat. I, I didn't eat today because I forgot to bring my food, but there's also a cafeteria downstairs that most people go and buy food and bring it up here and just hang out. Also, we have lockers over here that we can put our stuff in. <laughs> I know, I get this, everyone always asks who I'm talking to, and it's you guys. So, people who don't see me all the time. <laughs> oh, just put Melissa's picture here? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we hang out, we don't do much, and we just kind of mess around until class starts at begin at 1. We don't always have class at 1, but uh, if we do have class at 1, people hang out in here. And if we don't, people typically go home or go to the library to do their thing. So we have class today, we have anatomy class at 1, and so we're all hanging out and waiting for that to happen. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what we have in the room. So you guys can see, like, get an idea of like, what we do or get an idea of what's going on in the room. So here we have like a bunch of stuff. Look at this. Like, we have like a bunch of food. A bunch of students like bring food to like share and like, if you get hungry during class, you can just grab it. And there's like a bunch of stuff over there too. We have like pasta and a bunch of beans. And then there's like a positivity thing here. I don't know what this is. I will help to. And there's like foosball. And then, like these, all these things are like a bunch of offices for like the counselors and stuff that help us out, and we um, can go talk to them if you want. And then we have a bunch of stuff in the kitchen too. We have like a small kitchen for you guys to cook stuff or like use the fridge to store things. It's pretty cool. If we're staying here for most of the day, and typically most of us do. We have a bunch of lockers that we can store stuff in. So this is where they're all at. Oh man. Whoa, in the draw. <laughs> I won't film that, but I'll go, I'll go a little bit fast. Yeah, These are all our lockers. That's where everyone is. Who is that? Dude, we could be changing in here. I could be naked. Yo, he I caught, caught Darius. He definitely caught my drawers, but it's all good. So yeah, so sometimes we run into people changing too, and I got lucky this time. It was a nice, it was a nice young man. <laughs> our anatomy building is like not close to the medical education building, so we have to walk down there. And so we all have to walk there, and it's just, it's not far walk. It's about a, a two minute walk. At the cross one parking lot to get there. This is where we all wait. What's up? Hello. <laughs> this is my old anatomy group. And Alfredo. Sydney's at, but now we're broken up. They put us in different groups for this Sydney anatomy. Study. So typically we'd go right into the lab because we have key access to it. But I think because it's the first day and they're setting up, we're all kind of waiting around and waiting to be let in actually. So it's time to go in. I gotta put the camera away because they don't let us film or take pictures of anything in there out of privacy. I'll say goodbye to you guys and we'll pick up after anatomy. We just finished uh, Neuroanatomy Lab for a couple hours. 
It was pretty cool. It was cool to be back in the uh, anatomy <laughs> lab because last time we were there, we were in gross anatomy and that was last year. So we do it a little different. We do all gross anatomy first year and then we do specialty yeah. blocks all second year. So we're done now. It is super hot. And now we have one more class before we end the day. I think there's one more thing to, to state about this like schedule, especially about today's. Today's just one day out of like the many and, and most of the days are actually variable. So sometimes we have no lab, sometimes we end early, sometimes, thank you. <laughs> sometimes we, you know, go all day and sometimes we don't go at all at the day. So that's just, a, just like a footnote to say like, every day is very different, but this is like a typical day. And it's the end of the day, so now we go home to study even more of everything we learned today because you can't remember everything, so that's why we go home to study and that's why there's never ending supply of knowledge. But before we go home, we're gonna get some coffee because I am exhausted and it's been a long day. So, quick stop by the coffee shop and then on the way home. coffee places is Old Souls in Sacramento. It's really, really good. It's like a, I want to call it a mom-pop shop, but it, they have a couple all around Sacramento. And it's like a local coffee shop. This is like our place to come anytime we need some caffeine or a pick-me-up. What is up, guys? Just got back home. Now, the day is just starting. So it's about, what time is it? 6.45 right now. Just got home, relaxed a little bit, changed, because it's disgusting to sit in your office or at your desk at home in scrubs because you get like weird juices all over it. So, now, see now I'm playing Now I'm playing with the fidget spinner when I said I was probably never gonna touch this, but these things are pretty addicting. Probably not gonna film all this because just me studying, it's gonna get pretty boring. You all know what studying is like, so no need to film it and I bet you get pretty bored watching me study. So, in the gym in about an hour. And then after the gym, come home, study a little bit longer, and then head to bed around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, depending on how much work I have to do. So, I will catch you guys in the morning. <laughs>